you know um you know today let's let's talk about uh, your first passport what did you do with your first passport where did you go to with your first first passport so me i i got my passport when i was 18 year old and i got my passport to go to uh to volunteer in in burundi you know to go to burundi and uh this is the story vile nili amua i decided kukula fea ya un you know tiko mini likula fea ya ndenge you guys eh so <laughs> Yeah, so I, 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 I was sent for uh, money to purchase a ticket uh, from Nairobi to Bujumbura, but instead I decided to go by bus. And this, this is the story, you guys. Eh? I never made it, but I know what it takes. I'm motivated by a mix of emotion. Got my statement, and I'm reading it slow so I can understand. Coming from high school, going to live, like, living with my parents the whole time, going to live with my sister, feeling like I would have had a little bit of a freedom, and then it became, like, another jail. Like, it was much more strict than my parents even, because I could sh do shit at home. Like, ninge toroka sometimes. Yes, mom. Ninge hepa unajua. Mom unajua live to live to live fight nazo. So, like, I'm not a saint, and I was not, and I will not pretend to be so there's a time adole lishika you know so vile adole lishika na hapo ndo sasa maneno ikaaza hapo waze da kwa gakama kafo mtu hivi we can we talk <laughs> me i don't even know how i am here today <laughs> I'm having passion mojito, guys. No alcohol in it. Do not worry about that. So let me place this one down. Yo. <laughs> Welcome to House Backwards. Today I am glammed up. Courtesy of all the queen of, uh, you know, makeup. Uh, Joanna K. You know, you know. <laughs> makeup by mbula anyone who has done a makeup for beginners i have been watching youtube and this is what i came up with hmm? dennis eh if this is a fail it is a combined effort you know <laughs> Sana to house back with my name is Captain Smiles, guys. And you know, today we're just chilling. Meaning, I just decided, you know what, I'll pick up the camera and just talk about things. So I was saying, can we talk, guys? Can we talk adolescent? Eh? Can we talk from two? <laughs> can we talk from three? Eh? From four to Litulia. Ah, from four to Litulia. And then um, you know that and it's just discovering me myself and i and you know what documenting um this life for someone you know at our watch school orders. so i am so happy to be doing this for you guys and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe to house beckwith we will be doing a few things here and there and today we're just talking about um Adole, we are talking about uh, 18 year old, 19 year old. Yeah, in my life from 18 back up over 20 because I was married at 21. So, and then after that, it was just like bed of roses until here I am today. So, <laughs> I, I, I went. I finished high school and then after high school uh, my big sister was going to 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 Burundi and um, she was going to Burundi to excuse me she was going to Burundi to work as a travel agent uh, as a the travel agent uh, at the UN in Burundi um, so me me I apply for a job to to volunteer Kwani Kwani, like I'm going to with my sister at my sister's Cindy. So I actually my sister saw it and she was like, Do you wanna do this? I was like, Yes. Yeah, let me do it. You know. So it's about kukua brave. It's about kukua brave. So I was just like, yeah, let me do it. So um I apply for it. They they I, I get the job at that time. I am fresh. 
18 ni nini nani eh aku like twenty one zani ambia sindio eh so <laughs> so uh, I'm fresh 18 ndo nimechukuli watu hivi password kwanza ile si ile design nilingia nyayo house by the way I'm just uh, like I am here to conquer the world you know I am 18 I got my passport niko ready yani unaweza fikiria the way I am entering the nyayo house it's like I am applying for a USA visa eh no I am going to up Ivy Burundi. Yeah. At that time they it was it was not as settled as now. Like the the UN were there for peace mission. So do I know that? Missy Jui, me, I'm just like opportunity to get out of my mother's house. How else can I not go? Me, Ndawyo. Nika ingia ndani ya gari. Ndani ya basi. Kwanza nikapatiwa kama ka passport. Stamp. Hi. Kashope shope ya pupo nimefanya fanya ndani ya basi. Me let me tell you, the UN people had sent money. They had sent money. And guess money for what? For a tiko. Me, I shika that tiko like this. I'm just like. And this is money. A lot of money. I do unatumia madhe kwanza. I do ndo inanipeleka isili. I do ndo inanilipia passport. I do ndo. Yani, yani like I did the budget. Ya hiyo, hiyo, hiyo doya tiko, eh? Sasa shari, <laughs> nikaona, hakuna pengeleza edana ndege, mini mdem, uh, I'm just 18, uh, Burundi ni hapa tu, eh? Sa story tu ni kufika Kampala, after Kampala nifike Kigali, after Kigali, nijipange na Bujumbura. Ama ni aje? <laughs> oh my God, no. I did it. I went. Basi. I took the bus. I could not remember where the bus was. I took the bus and I went to Kampala. I got to Kampala and my neighbor, Mama Bianca, uh, she was a Ugandan, uh, our neighbor in Nairobi at that time. Uh, she was Ugandan. Um, so this is just, I have met me, Mama Bianca for like, I think a month because I was in Nairobi to apply your passport. Eh? So, Mama Bianca, she's Ugandan. She hooks me up with her sisters in Uganda. What happens to Nendo Kovo Kwanza? Uganda. I go to the border. We change. We do exchange. Yeah. I am given a kibunda chamani like this. I'm just like, hey, 18 year old millionaire. Twende club in Kampala. Let us go. <laughs> so, this is my journey as an 18 year old to Burundi by bus to go volunteer at the UN peace mission that I did not actually know that peace mission means it's the country that is at war so it's not so safe to go there like Kini, Mimi I am going by bus by the way Nisha kula pesa ya tiko yeah I've already gone to Isili kwa pesa ya KQ you know so me I was sent the money me was like ah uh -uh, no I do not need to go on a on a on a on a, t on a plane I've never been on a plane anyway it's not guaranteed that I'm gonna arrive anyway so I would rather do the usual thing that I have grown up doing is going by bus anywhere I would like to go so to kaenda hmm. <laughs> my people Nimefika Kampala. Tumecha pasi kukambili kwanza Kampala in the club. Me, I meet Kampala people. I meet someone who is going to Kigali. And I'm just like, let us go to Kigali. Actually, that is the direction I'm going. Me, we get to the border of Kigali. We exchange. I am exchanged for the money. I get it. Kwa kama tena double. Me, niko to where is this? Why am why do I have money in every pocket that I have? I, I I I you know, in Kenya I left ndo na ipoke apa. That's where I left money. Nilitoka na do apa. By the time na fika Rwanda, I have money apa apa apa. And you know, as we know, like when you're traveling, put your money next to your boobs, like next to your precious cargoes that you're carrying. You know, with your you know body. Yeah, that's where you put next to Hapa. So this I mean, like, I've just been conjuring money like this. Remember, I have come from, 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 uh, I have come from Nairobi. So I had, like, I don't know, like 5K maybe in Nairobi. Getting to, to Uganda is already 5 million. When I'm getting, no, getting to Uganda was already 5 million. Getting to Kigali, it's already, like, 90. <laughs> 
so I have left Mama Bianca's sisters in Kampala and now I am proceeding to Kigali and I met some people at the club in Kampala and they were really cool and I was not even scared by the way guys I was not thinking like yo you're young uh, Akuna Simu oh no I mean I had Motorola T190 so I'm just feeling like even I don't know Kama Brun, like in Rwanda there kuna safaricom there is no safaricom so uh, but I just felt safe everywhere I went you know, so um I get to Uganda with the people that I was introduced to but you know what me I'm a good vibe girl it was a very social butterfly and um I met people in the club and those people I was like uh you know what next thing I am going to um Bujumbu, uh, to, I am on my way to Bujumbura so they were like yeah by the way uh on Monday we are going to um to to Kigali, we work there, uh, to Nauza Manguo Uko. So yeah, yeah, cool, we can go. So it was two dudes and one a girl that was about in her 20s already. So I was like, yeah, Kwanini, me, I'm feeling so safe, by the way. I don't even, I think it's the innocence and the bravery. I atasijui. And you know, to ile freedom ya kukuwa na passport. I am traveling. I am not in my mother's house. I am not in Nairobi. I am a millionaire in Kampala as we speak. Mm, an 18 year old so <laughs> come monday we went to this uh, uh this bus station we got into a minivan on our way to kigali yo the scenery too bad at that time i was not vlogging i did not have a camera phone or i did not have any kind of a camera so i have no footage of this travel but ilikuwa ili travel the beautiful hills Yeni like ukingia Kigali, you guys. Kwanza nafika Kigali like this with my peeps to me bigger story the whole way. I can't even remember how long it was. Um, we get to the border and then they're just opening my bags. They're just like, you know what? Remove anything plastic you have. Me, I'm just like, what is this country? Eh? Niko to what? I'm just like, okay. The only it got to a point that the only plastic thing that I was in, allowed in was sanitary pads because like how do they package their sanitary pads and anyway i was just like anyway i am on my way it's not like i'm gonna use them in 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 Kampa, in, in, in kigali so thanks god because girls we need our sanitary pads ama yes we do sindio so tuka nikaingiana sanitary pads zangu kigali tumeenda Nika kombole waka kalojo hapo ivo. I can't remember how much it was. First of all, we exchanged my Ugandan money into 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 Rwandese money. It becomes even more than the you, Yani. I was just bowling. Let me tell you, I was bowling with you when money. Do ya tikondo ni nendelea kukula in different countries. <laughs> my peeps, we get to Kigali. Me, everybody's just like weekend in a Chicago club. I don't know what. Me, I'm just like, how much is the is the hotel? I'm told. Nakapovo chini, nikachape sa buzangu, bam 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 bam. Actually, I can actually stay mpaka Friday. Yo, am I remembering? I I was supposed to arrive Kigal. I was supposed to arrive work or to report at work on wednesday but me i am just like how are you they have they don't have my phone now. they do have my phone number but it is for kenya one week they want it or not me i am living my best 18 year old life sisindani square kwanza i have gone to work with them chapad job in their in their in their shop the whole day the next day is you have gone to a wedding where the next day i am taken to the genocide museum that changed my life until today i didn't expect it i did not know what is happening what was actually happening inside there it was just a museum and they were showing me um around and I wish I knew the story behind it all before I go there. I did not even think I understood what genocide meant at that time. 
and nilienda and it was um it wasn't easy it has changed my life my it changed my life it changed the perspective on how i look at people and i look at you know the universe and even then i did not realize the risk that i i was taking to go by bus from nairobi to burundi the risk i was taking to go just me a girl a young 18 year old a uh, brand new passport no contact no email my parents didn't even know how i was gonna get there uh, it was atasijui till then when i entered that genocide uh, museum and i read through everything and every step that's when it hit me that life is actually not not anything to joke with and how much respect i have for everybody who survived uh, the whole experience anyway um yeah so that was crazy but uh two hours later i was back into being 18 year old i was back um was I, I was not drinking at that time. I wasn't drinking. Yes, I wasn't drinking. So I was back into my room. I chilled. Nikatulia Kidogo. That Friday we went into the club. I can't even remember what the name of the club was. But it was amazing. And in that club, I met a girl who was going to Burundi on Monday. I'm just, girl, where are you going to? She's like, I'm going to go to Jubura. I'm a, I'm a Burundian, blah, blah, blah. I'm just like, guess where this girl is going to? Eh? I'm just like, I am bringing all this vibe to Bujumbura with me. <laughs> and you are going to be my chaperone. You know, and she was just like, yo, girl, you can speak some French. I'm just like, bonjour. <laughs> But anyway, who is me to my bigger story? I'm telling her all my stories. I am super excited to go to Bujumbura. And then we get to Bujumbura. Then I'm told, okay, now we're going to get to, the, to on a taxi, but don't worry. Uh, do you know where you're going? I'm just like, no, actually I'm going to the UN office. They're just like, there's three different UN corners. Which corner are you going to? I'm just like, um... I don't know. A uh, girl did not know which UN corner she was going to. Eh? Can you even believe it? So, me, I was just like, no, I don't know. The thing that this first passport made me do. Hey, this girl is like, okay, me, my driver is here. So uh, the best thing I will do with you is go with you to our house and then drop my things and then uh, call my auntie who works for the UN and then give her her name and then she can try and find out which UN corner you're going to. I was like, fine. It's like, do you have any number? I'm like, yes. So I give them my number. I try calling my sister's number. I try calling my sister. She's not in the office. And then we try calling the person who was supposed to receive me. Uh, the person uh, is not picking because the person was getting ready to receive me at the airport like two weeks ago. Eh, the jali to Bujubura. So, uh, I think we went to a house, we had food. I didn't like the ugali first. It's the cassava ugali. I was just like, what the hell? Like, this is what I came to eat here. And I was just like, it does not matter. In my bag, I have some kilo flani ya, ya jogo. So, eh, iko sawa. So, anyway, uh, in the, in, after lunch, we went to every UN corner and finally I found my sister. And they were just like, what have you, where have you been? Did you wear, where, 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 where? Me, I'm just like, yo, I'm here anyways. I am here anyways, yeah? So um, I was there for six months and it was 
amazing 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 my sister was great and it was it was a great time until um we came back to nairobi after that and i started living with her properly and she was tough 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 and i am really waiting for the next video because the next video we are sitting down with my uh with shiro and carrie to talk about um the journey of them living with me and what the experience of them living with me because the experience of living with my sister yo noma. so i have my first passport i have gone by bus from nairobi to kampala to kigali partying my way every dundani mengia mpaka bujumbura i get to bujumbura i am received well i get used to it gunshots here and there uh, being protected shock culture shock everything i realize actually you 18 year old the world is yours and i remember there's a day that it was such a crazy night and that is the night i realized that i'm actually brave than i uh like nikotuna kakituku vindani like e life e life siam chezo you know and a nairiang vile iko go with it the way it is uh be brave explore the world take that fast footsteps and just go so uh since 2006 uh, when i got my first passport i have been around the world and it has been a journey and it has been stories of days now i'm here and i can't wait to share all of it with you so and first of all the thing is like the, the one thing that i can't wait as for us to share is uh, the story of living with your sisters like do you live with your sister do you have um like does your sister do you live under your sister's roof and what are the challenges uh, that you have with her how strict is she what is what is your curfew how was it yeah with me it was tough curfew was at six and then um it got to a point adoleka shika sana alionsi kashika sana nikaona eh plays heart strings ilikuwa tumeshika sana to go and watch uh, you know you know life ikashika nairobi and then i was just like i'm a teenager i cannot go home at six i need more time and that's when i decided or i was kicked out and i decided to make the next step of moving into my own house and even until where i am right now and we're gonna be discussing that right here at house back with so please i want so please i want to know your stories of your first passport uh what you did with it where you went was the crazy story you've done with it uh have you gotten in trouble ha, has it expired uh ruth kareja many apate passport kwanza ya tahana apachukuriwe passport you know so it was really nice just to sit here with all the girls and just chat with you and uh, all about these journeys cindy you know it's not only about um you know the bush and what we have done also these easy experiences in guinness life because yo it's a journey it's a deal <laughs> i love it and um until next time guys my friend is just coming in and uh, i'm so happy that you are watching and like this vlogmas is challenging and is making us open up a little bit, little bit more and you know to f try and find more content to create including this one that is uh all about my first passport what i did with it how i went uh around with it and <laughs> all right thank you so much for watching until the end um thank you so much for watching until the end i love to love you my name is captain smiles and you know i am the queen of house back with karibu sana until next time drink some mojito and live your best life Mwah. bless it